Angle Facts Lesson 2. Now, question, what kind of triangle is this? Well, we cannot assume that it's a particular type of triangle because we do not know the exact measures of these sides of the triangle. However, what if we were told so? Or perhaps something like this, where we have a dash on a side and a dash on the other. In this case, the dashes indicate that these two sides are of equal length. So if this is 10 centimeters in length, then this side is also 10 centimeters in length. And if that's the case, the type of triangle we have is an isosceles triangle. Where we have two sides being equal, we have an isosceles triangle. Just a fancy name for the type of triangle with two sides. When two sides are equal, the angles that face those two sides will also be equal. We refer to those two angles as the base angles of the isosceles triangle. So this angle is facing this side, or in up, in up, is opposite to this side, and this angle here is opposite to this side. So angle fact number two, base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Now we might find this situation where we have an isosceles triangle in a circle. So let's look at this circle here. Now the line that is drawn from the center of the circle, so we're going to assume that we have a center here. So let's assume that this is the center of the circle. Let's call it center O. And we have a line drawn from the center to the circumference. Now a line that is drawn from the center of a circle to the circumference is referred to as what? As a radius. And let's draw another radius from the center of the circle to the circumference. So we have two radii. Now let's complete this as a triangle. Well, so far we know that the radii in a circle, all the radii in a circle are equal. So the safe thing to do is put a dash on this line and a dash on this line as well, indicating that these two lengths, these two sides, in other words, have the same length. And if that's the case, then the base angles, this angle here and this angle here are actually equal. So this is what I'll do. Let's come up with a little problem. Let's assume that we were given the measure of the angle here. So let's say this angle here, angle O, I'm going to put a letter P and Q here, referring to this vertex here that's found on the circumference, and this vertex of this triangle on the circumference, where two straight line meet at a point, a vertex is formed. So vertex P, vertex Q. Okay, so we're going to look at angle. This symbol means angle POQ. Let's say this angle here, going from P to O to Q. So POQ, we're talking about this angle, the center angle. Let's call that 80 degrees. If this angle POQ is 80 degrees, what is this angle? Angle. So again, we're going from O, straight line down, and I'm going to turn at P. So looking at this angle right here. What's that angle? You'll recall that the two base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. And since we know that this length and this length are equal, then we know the base angles are also equal. So to find this angle here, what we'll do, we'll subtract this 80 from 180, and then we'll get 100 degrees. And what will we do with this 100 degrees? If you said divided it by 2, then that's correct. So I'm going to do that to both sides here. All right, so 180 minus 80 over 2 is equal to 100 over 2, which is equal to 50 degrees. So angle OPQ is equal to 50 degrees, as well as angle OQP, angle O. QP is also equal to 50 degrees. All right? And what's the reason for these two angles being actually equal to 50 degrees? Well, the reason is they are what? Base angles of an isosceles triangle. They are equal.